Um, <laughs> so, okay. All right, so anyway, um, here's the drill. Okay, and I said I got the drill bit and I used the small tip one. And basically I just took it and I went, maybe you can see, hopefully, I drilled some holes in those things. This way. Can you see the light through those holes? Yes, you should be able to, because I can see on the camera. All right, so I drilled them in there. Now while I was drilling, you might be able to see. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, no, you can't. Oh, it's way too thin. Anyway, after I drilled the sets of holes, the plastic, the purple plastic, melted around the drill bit, and I was really upset because I thought I ruined the drill bit. But I just ended up just holding the drill bit, and. Uh, lit it on fire and uh the plastic melted off so it's i mean it's black but i mean it's it's still sharp and whatever i would have been really upset if it ruined my bit so there's that drilled that through um now i'm going about to head out to uh the radio shack to get a switch that'll fit snugly in this little hole right here so the switch pop through, so you can press it on and off, on and off. So hopefully that'll work. And then um, I also gotta find some stupid little toy that's got fiber optic things, like a, I don't know, something that's a dollar that's fiber optic. And hopefully I'll find uh, something like that. And then I have to drill the rest of the holes. Oh yeah, and then I made this template for, because I said I was gonna put, um, right on those three lines and continue on to the other half of the sphere I was gonna put um, drill holes as well so I made this template it's the length and the width of the line it's not bent but like the lines have a slight curve but and at every intersection that's where I'm gonna draw drill a hole uh, hopefully this is strong enough that if I tape it down and I drill through each hole that the paper isn't gonna rip off I'm hoping um, I do have thicker paper, which I might use if that doesn't work, but oh well, it'll all be the same. Anyway, thanks, so I'll be back later after I try to find what I can. Uh, see you later, bye. All right. So, here's that end cap. I hollowed out the hole, all right? It was probably, the hole is probably only about half that diameter. And you bore it out with uh, using this tip right here. It's basically just kind of right into the hole and it spun it out. Created that. That's where this switch is going to go. So it's very snugly right in there. It doesn't fall out. It's still in. In fact, it takes quite a bit of pressure to put to spun clicks. Okay. It's got four prongs, but you only really need two. I think the other two prongs is if you want this red LED to light up, but I don't really care because it's probably going to be covered anyway. Anyway, now I'll use a battery life. Um, took my drill, like I said, drilled the seven holes here. Going along the top here, just kind of drilling holes as I see them. Drilled them. There's a hole at the crossroad in the lines right there. Drilled two more holes there and there. Drilled the hole there. I'm going to drill holes along those lines. I'm probably going to drill a hole somewhere around the circle. Maybe where the circle meets the lines. Probably at those bends. Um, just, you know, trying to find wherever I... Because I kind of want to, you know, I don't want to just put like a couple fiber rods. I, I mean, I don't want to be the entire thing made of light. But, uh, you know, I want to put a few. Decorate it. Um... I mean, hell, I could even I could even bore out this circle right here. Just drill this out and just put a LED, a couple of LEDs. That would actually look pretty cool, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I have to see. But I probably have a bit for that. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, but I think it'll turn out really really cool. Right now I've got 11 holes on this side. Which would mean 11 holes on the other side. Basically, what I'm going to do is here's my LED. It's blue. It's a blue LED. 
and I'm going to take this heat shrink, okay, and I'm going to stick the LED in here, right, so there's the LED stuck in the sh in heat shrink, and then I'm going to, on this side, I'm going to fill in the all, with all the fiber optic stuff, I'm going to just stick a whole bunch of, you know, fiber optic hairs or cables or whatever you call them in here, shrink it all together so it's all stuck and wrapped, and then, um, whoops, I dropped it, uh, and then I'll, uh, you know, just kind of plug them into the holes and just, you know, get them to stick and stay, clamp them down. And uh, I think it'll look actually pretty good. I just, I don't know where exactly to find any fiber optic cable. I went to three stores. I went to, I was looking for a toy. I went to Radio Shack to get the stuff, but then I was like, do you have fiber optic cable, string, whatever you call it? And they said no. And then I went to Rite Aid Pharmacy. And they went down their little toy section. They didn't have anything that had fiber optics in it. Went to my supermarket where I work at. Didn't have anything. And a dollar store. And they didn't have anything. I'll check. Probably like I'll try to find a toy store or something. I'm sure they have something. Well, I, you know what? I'm probably thinking of now. Probably I could find one at a carnival where they sell those stupid, you know, knickknacks. There's usually always something that's got like a million lights in it. And that's, they probably have a, a fiber optic, whatchamacallit, toy. Anyway, so that's basically it for now. Um, I don't know. It, can't, it turned out pretty good so far. I'm not, I haven't messed anything up, so that's, that's a plus. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you later. Bye. All right, good morning. This is the day after what anything else was posted. So here's this side, fully drilled, okay? Again, there's the four holes there. One, two, three, four. Then we have the seven holes coming down here. And then I put three holes there. And there's no holes down here. So three holes there. And then there's three holes on this side. This is, for, this is these three holes, these nine holes were used with the template. I actually printed on the thicker card stock. Um, and uh, just taped it down using some duct tape and then just held it, the, held the bend in place with my fingers, tried to give it a slight bend. And uh, I mean, they didn't come out perfectly even, but they're nice, they're good, so. And then if you imagine on the other side, there's the three holes and then this, everything out here is just reversed. What really sucks is though, is that again, when the, when the drill bit took up the plastic, it actually made every other hole that I drilled after it had a big, a lot amount of plastic on it, like really thick. So like, see that hole is like really, really big. The opposite side of the sphere where that hole would be, it's not that big. It's probably only the size of one of these holes. So, but I don't think it's going to be a problem because I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use Scott Durbin's scale model addicts, uh, method of melting fiber optics so that it'll hopefully give like a wide enough cap on the end of the fiber optic to just hold it in place. And I read that you're not, you shouldn't use a uh, super glue on fiber optics because that melts it. I don't know. I'm not going to try. I had enough bad luck with the, um, melting the purple plastic. It, uh, just like, <laughs> when it went on fire, just like this black fumes just started coming up, and then like five minutes later, just like black ash just started falling down on me. I was like, great. So then, yep, yeah, there it is, like all right there, all that black ash. There's some right there, all that black ash. Oh, this is this is from a stupid little toy that I found. I just kind of like, I don't know, opened it up, ripped it apart. Do, 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 do. It just flashes different patterns of green, purple, and no, green, blue, and red. All right, anyway. So now I'm going to sp um, spray paint this thing. I think I'm going to make it black, and then I'm going to, you know, detail it in blue. Um, and because I don't think acrylics will really take it well, so I'm going to have to, like, tape it off and paint it, spray paint it blue wherever I want it to be. Oh, and also, last bit this thing, cut it out. Remember those, like, buildings and stuff? little decoration on the bottom of it while well, I cut it out, filed it down. So now it's flat. Okay, thanks.